We use uh, data from Humisat uh, satellites uh, to, to um, monitor and, and, and forecast uh, weather uh, in our area, which is uh, top of the globe. So the polar orbiting satellite is uh, extremely important in northern latitudes because uh, it covers the northern latitudes uh, extremely well. You know, the overpasses over over our areas is, is, is very frequent. Uh, if, if you only had the, the geostationary satellites, we, we you know, we are on the edge. Uh, lower resolution and, 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 and less uh, sharpness of the, of the images. The METOP uh, SGA is, uh, is important due to the, 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 the instruments, for example, of the, of the MET imager, which is giving us relatively high resolution weather and ocean uh, monitoring uh, over, over our areas. We will use uh, the new uh, satellite data for a lot of products uh, in the OSIS app, in particular the SST and sea ice. It's the ocean surface which, which is in focus and of course SST, based on infrared measurements, is, is, is the core part of that. And also for sea ice, uh, we use, um, when it's not clouds, we use the data from the MET imager for, uh, for helping together with the passive microwave. So uh, indeed it is, uh, it is a step forward also for the OSIS app. Uh, that, that's a nice thing with METOP, uh, the new METOP satellite, that it is a continuation of the previous one. And that is probably the most important for us. So we have a stable continuation with some uh, renewments, of course, but the stability and, and, the, and the long time series, uh, which, which makes it easy for us to integrate it into our, our system, is, is, is really, really important.